Hey guys, I made a macrame hanging planter. I used a different cord from my previous hanging planter tutorial, and a different knot pattern. I also added beads, and here's what I did. I used a 3mm cord. I cut 6 cords at 6 yards, and 2 cords at 7 yards. Fold the cords in half to find the center, and tape them down. The two longer cords should be on both sides. Next, make a square knot. To do this, make a number 4 with the left cord over the middle cords and under the right. Pull the right cord through the loop created. Then do the opposite. Make a backwards 4 with the right cord over the middle cords and under the left. Pull the left cord through the loop created. Make 8 square knots. Then turn the cords upside down. Make 8 more square knots, but start with the backwards 4. Next, align the ends of the square knots. With an extra cord, make a gathering knot. To do this, make a U shape with the extra cord. Group it with the rest of the cords. Next, take the longer end and wrap it around all the cords. I wrap them 10 times going lower. Place the end through the loop created. Hold it down and pull the top end. The loop should be tucked under the wrap part. Then cut the ends of the cord. You should have 16 cords. Separate them into groups of 4. For each group, make 8 square knots. I got these beads from Walmart, and I'm using this color. I left a gap and made another square knot. I just used the width of my finger to figure out how much space to leave. String the two middle cords through a bead. Then make another square knot followed by another gap. Next, I made 16 spiral stitch knots. To do this, make a number 4 with the left cord over the middle cords and under the right. Then pull the right cord through the loop created. Use the same cords to continue making knots and you should start to see a spiral.
Next, I left another gap, followed by a square knot. I added another bead to the two metal cords and made a square knot, followed by another gap. Then I made eight square knots. Again, I left a gap, followed by a square knot. I added another bead to the two metal cords and made a square knot, followed by another gap. Then I made 16 spiral stitch knots. I left about a 3 and 3 fourth of an inch space and made alternating square knots. To do this, take two cords from one group and two cords from the group next to it. Then make a square knot. Repeat this with the rest of the cords. I made three rows of alternating square knots with two inch spaces. You can alter the amount of space to leave depending on the size of your pot. I added my pot to see if it would fit and I ended up adjusting the last row to have about a one and one fourth of an inch space. Next I cut the longest cord and used it to make another gathering knot. Then add your plant. I left 8 inches of cord at the bottom. And here's how it turned out. 